Welcome to Brave Explorers. I'm the Operations Coordinator here at the Franklin Exploration Center, a staging and support facility for Base Station Wild Arctic. I can see we have a hearty group of adventurers today, although some of you seem to be lacking in the proper equipment. Shorts and t-shirts are not Arctic gear. Not said. Education is our mission. And that's why Thomas Purcell founded the center in 1937 as part of his dream of creating a permanent Arctic research station. He theorized that man could survive in this harsh climate to observe and research the fragile Arctic ecology. That dream became a reality with the completion of Base Station Wild Arctic. Today, we will take you on a short jet helicopter ride. Utilizing special whisper and snorkel modes, we will let you see sites seldom seen by the public. Rare Arctic birds, aquatic mammals, and a pristine wilderness of ice. Once on the ground at Base Station Wild Arctic, you will see many of these animals up close, as well as have the opportunity to walk through the air. One of the two 19th century sailing ships that are now trapped permanently in the ice. I would like to remind you that this helicopter ride is not recommended for expected mothers, anyone with hard neck or back problems, or those prone to motion sickness. Please contact the flight crew and they will arrange to have you fly on a non-motion gyro-stabilized helicopter. We're going to the first officer now, who has some important information to give you prior to boarding. Hi, everyone. I'm your first officer, Norm Snowman Miller. You'll be soaring Arctic skies aboard White Thunder with Captain Emerson at the stick. When we kick the jets in on this baby, she'll do 400 miles per hour. But don't worry about safety. Our onboard computer will make sure nothing can possibly go wrong. Morning. Has the Arctic storm headed for base? I'm sure it's not that bad. No, it's bad. Then I should tell you that in the unlikely event of a water landing, the person seated next to you can be used as a flotation device. And to ensure your safety, I need all of you to follow a few simple instructions. When given the clearance to board, walk quickly across the cabin to the last available seat. Remember to keep your head low when approaching white thunder, or you'll be sporting a black top look. To secure your seat belt, place the metal tab into the slot, and place all your carry-on luggage on your lap. Give that seatbelt a tug to make sure it's secure. Remain seated throughout the entire flight. Don't make me come back there. After we land at Base Station Wild Arctic and the door is open, remove your seatbelt and collect all your carry-on luggage. Exit through the open door. Hey, it sounds like the computer's starting the engine. And even though I'm not flying white men here today, I've got a lot of things to do. Important co-pilot stuff. You know, knobs to turn, buttons to push. This is the snowman. 